if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We will take up two more terms and understand them in detail. One is profile access. Now profile access basically means preventive measures. When a disease occurs or when somebody gets an infection or is somebody whenever somebody is diseased then after that after getting the infection it is treatment which is done but prophylactic measures or prophylaxis deals with how to prevent that disease that means you need to take those measures by which you do not get that infection or even if that pathogen enters in, into your body, it does not affect. So the prophylactic measures, they can be of two categories. One is general. This is uh, applicable to everyone and this is like common. And this general prophylactic thing includes first and the most important hygiene, personal and community. personal hygiene and community hygiene. Now what happens is when we talk about personal hygiene and community hygiene, if your surrounding is clean, then the chances of pathogen around you is less or rather are less. Reason, most of these pathogens, they are transmitted by some or the other agency. We have talked about vector borne diseases. So if there is some kind of a contamination, if there is dirty environment around you, house flies, for example, can sit on that uh, dirt and then come and sit on your food items. And that may result in transmission of that disease. But if your surrounding is clean, then these kind of infections would not spread. So basically by keeping yourself and your surroundings clean, you are preventing that infection entering into your body. This is general. Proper nutrition, uh, proper hygiene, these are general uh, prophylactic things. In general, uh, we can also do one thing is isolate the infected person. So if there is a person who has a particular pathogen or a disease, then isolate that person so that it does not get transmitted to others. But these are very general things. The second category is specific. Now when we talk of specific prophylaxis, then in this we include immunization or which is also called vaccination. Now what exactly is vaccination or what is immunization is giving a dose of killed or weakened pathogen and this is done to stimulate the response in your body. So next time when the live pathogen enters you have those antibodies ready. So what exactly is a vaccine? Vaccines are generally, we are talking about weak or killed pathogen. And this weak or killed pathogen stimulates our body to synthesize anti bodies. So now when antibodies are synthesized in our body and their production was stimulated because of this weak and killed pathogen. So next time 
if a live active pathogen enters into our body, these antibodies would be ready to fight, fight against it. These vaccines which we talk of, they are of three categories. First generation vaccines, then we have second generation vaccines and lastly we have third generation vaccines. Now what exactly we mean by this first generation, second generation and third generation. First generation means the vaccines which are produced by the orthodox method by orthodox method and what exactly is this orthodox method that is using weak or killed pathogen using weak or weak or killed pathogen and here we can take the example of polio vaccine so for example polio vaccine there are two types of polio vaccines one have a weakened pathogen or polio virus and the other has killed virus so this is the first generation that means the vaccines which are prepared by the normal orthodox method the second generation vaccines are the ones which are prepared by our dna technology that means they use genetic engineering. So here we can write you synthesize by using RDNA technology or genetic engineering. So these are like little advanced vaccines. And here we can take the example of hepatitis B vaccine. It has been produced by this RDNA technology and third generation vaccines are still in the process of being made and when I'm using the word made because they are being constructed in factories or they have been produced in factories. So basically scientists are trying to get analogs of that antigen. What happens is suppose this is a particular pathogen, its surface has a protein which acts as an antigen. So this antigen is the one which stimulates antibody production in our body. If some molecule which is not a protein but acts like this antigen, so if that is injected into our body then it will also stimulate that same response that is antibody formation. So here we are using the term that it is a synthetic vaccine. And these are most probably the analogs of those antigen. All those third generation vaccines are still in the trials right now but very soon they will be introduced and many a times there are some side uh, some reactions or some side effects if such kind of vaccines are available the synthetic vaccines then those side effects or the reactions are not going to be there so this is specific prophylactic thing so we are taking that weak pathogen and getting our body ready for the live pathogen the second term or this was prophylaxis, the second important term that we want to talk about uh, is treatment. So if a person gets a disease, then what kind of treatment is there? Now this treatment is categorized into two heads. One, it is symptom targeted. or it can be pathogen targeted. The best example to understand this is malaria. In malaria, 
the symptom is fever and the pathogen is plasmodium and there are various species of this plasmodium. So if a person has malaria, then there are two types of drugs which are given. One which is going to bring the fever down. So those drugs are acting only on the symptom. So such drugs are called the symptom targeting drug. So in case of malaria, if we take some antipyretic drug like crocin, then the fever comes down. Here we are targeting only the symptom. This antipyretic drug which is bringing the fever down does not kill the pathogen. So plasmodium is still going to be there but the fever is going to subside. So here you are treating the symptom. And in case of malaria, if the drug which is given is quinine, then it is killing the pathogen. So if symptom is to be targeted, then such kind of a drug is given. And if pathogen is to be targeted, then the other drug is given. So there are two types of treatments which are there. So we have talked about all the important terminologies which are used whenever we talk about human health and diseases. We have understood what is etiology, what is epidemiology. We now know what is prophylaxis and what kind of treatments take place. Now in the next part, we will start discussing the diseases.